Hello everyone, this is a follow-up video to the previous one which I made about kit IV. Uh, I'm having my mid-base drivers in my kicks and I'm trying to vent them, uh, make them IV. Uh, if you saw the last video, I cut a hole which is, was about 10% of uh, the driver uh, area and I thought it's going to be enough. But apparently it's not so I just wanted to do some extra testing and I thought about something cool so it took me a while because I had to get this which is an audio interface to in to out this is for me to measure the impedance curve because I'm gonna measure I'm gonna be measuring impedance not the frequency response and I have what I have so I have my Hertz driver uh, Mille Pro which I'm using in my car. I have Kicker CS drivers that I had in my rear doors for I don't know how long I, I, did, I didn't use them. So uh, these are coaxials, however, I removed the tweeter. So it's only the mid base that's working. And just for comparison, I have a Malavli Satori five inch mid range drivers, but they play as low as those ones as well. So I thought, um, I thought I'm going to have a uh, very different, uh, very different Q values for these drivers, but apparently they're very similar. So I don't know. So I made a very good jig and I'm going to show you it right now. So this is my jig, <laughs> jig. And you were going to think, what the hell is this? Okay, so let me explain. I want to make uh, measurements uh, in increments of some sort of an opening. So I made, I think it's 170 something holes, which correspond if you add up all the holes, you're going to have the opening, the total opening, uh, very similar to a six and a half driver. Yeah, so basically, if I have all the holes open, that's like, uh, like free air. And I have 10 rows, which is 10%. So what I do is, I have my box like this, pop in the driver, so it's either that one, either that one, and <clears throat> that's CCF so it doesn't uh, let the air go through so first measurement I do sealed which is like the driver there so all the holes are sealed and I take the first measurement then I do this it's very difficult to do with one hand so sorry uh. Yeah, like that. So you see, there's one row open and all the rest are closed. So that gives me, if I have the driver inside, I don't have it screwed in now, that gives me 10% of the opening of that driver or the Hertz one, six and a half. So I take a measurement, then I do two rows which gives me 20%. Of course, I hold it down, so it's not gonna go through the sides. And another measurement, and so on, and so on, and so on, until I get to the end. So it's gonna give me 90% opening, and the last one, 100% opening. And the last measurement that I did is with the driver just literally outside of the enclosure, just to compare, uh, is there a big difference between a driver being outside of the enclosure and being with this total opening? Yeah. So that's my jig. It's just for me to have some consistency because I didn't know how, what would be the other way to have um, consistent uh, openings for different drivers. You can do that with one driver, but not with three. So yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's the jig. Now, let's look, take a look at the measurements. Okay, so let's have a look at what I found out. Uh, before we do that, 
uh, let's have a look at the drivers themselves. Um, so I have the Hertz Mini Pro, uh, the Kickers, and the Satori. Uh, I try to measure the TS parameters, and I don't really care about how accurate they are. It's just because I want just to compare them, just for comparison. So they're all of them are very very similar to be honest. Like FS 75, 62, 63, uh, QTS 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.5. So this one has a little bit uh, smaller QTS and VAS uh, 7, 10, and 6. So they're very similar. I was hoping that maybe the kicker one is going to be way, way different than others, but it is what it is. So, um, this was from the previous video, if you remember, yeah? Uh, with the small hole, I have very little low end and a lot of here. And the more holes I drilled, my bottom end went up, so I have more bottom end with more holes however i have this dip so what is this dip um if you remembered when i calculated these holes it was about the last one um 14 15 or whatever 17 holes was about 10 percent of uh the whole driver area so i have this uh, these are the measurements, 10%, 20%, 30 40 50 uh, If you wonder about the scale, I kept it the same, so it would be the same with the other drivers. So we're going to go to other drivers. So if I look at the 10%, I'm just going to remove everything. You see this, this peak. So this is this dip right here. If I would have uh, opened 20%, that peak would be much, much, much smaller. 30% even more smaller. So with all the measurements, as you can see, the more, this is sealed, the more you open the back for IB, the smaller the secondary peaks becomes because this secondary peak it, it's for a driver it acts as a vent as i understand so it's like a ported enclosure so the bigger the opening the smaller the impact so we have a 10 percent 20 30 40 and it goes down 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 and this one uh, the first Im impedance peak rises and going up so I was comparing, uh, this was in open air with the driver removed from the box and this with the box, but with all the holes open. So they're very, very similar. There is a bit of a difference, but they're very, very similar. So this is the Hertz driver. So yeah, it rises up and this peak goes down. And as you can see, the Hertz driver, it plays uh, up to probably 2, 3K. And then uh, because of the LE value, it just doesn't want to play high. If I have a look at the kicker driver. So the kicker has a much, much bigger impedance peak, impedance peak and the secondary dips uh, peaks are very similar. 10% the biggest one, 20%, 30%, that kind of stuff. I think these ones, the little peaks, it's uh, probably the driver's resonance or something. I don't know, but it's, it's a cheap, cheap driver. So, yeah. And the Satori, which is this one, the five inch driver. So again, uh, Big impedance peak at 10, 20, 30 percent. We have some peaks, but then just look how flat it is. It's just because it, it can play very, very high. So I haven't installed it yet, but I'm just waiting uh, for some stuff to arrive. And I'm going to install it in the dash. So the other three comparisons, how they look like. I'm not going to go through all the measurements because I did this. So what I did. Um, 
I plotted that's a kicker, uh, Hertz and Satori. I plotted the opening in percentage, so 10 to 100. And now I realize that this for the Satori is going to be different percentages because it's a five inch driver. So this I'm just going to disregard it. And what I did is uh, just for comparison, um, the main peak, which is this one, I took, I just plotted it. So if I take 10, 10%, the main peak is 26 ohms. The secondary peak is seven ohms. 10%, 26 ohms, seven ohms. And I did the same for all the openings, the main peak. So basically how the main peak uh, rises with the more areas open and how the secondary peak goes down to flat. And I just wanted to see the graph, how it looks like. So basically it's gonna tell me how much of an opening I actually need to, in order not to see uh, this, 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 this uh, peak and not to have this dip. So from what I've got from these, I have, if you look at this, is going down and it steadies about 40 to 50 percent and it, then it kind of flat so it's the same like if you look at these numbers uh seven five and a half four seven five four three and then four so about 40 50 percent is needed with this one exactly the same so 4.3 Four from 50% is four, 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 and less than four. So about 50%. And for this, I'm gonna disregard it because the percentage is different. But again, it's gonna be somewhere, somewhere here, 40%, so spawn probably gonna be more. But yeah, so my final conclusion from this experiment is that if you don't want to see a dip, in the frequency response caused by a driver acting as in a ported enclosure, the opening has to be at least 50%. But with the main peak, it's going to go up and up and up and up. And it's not going to reach free uh, air unless it's going to be 100%. So if you don't want to have that dip in the frequency response is 50 percent but if you want full everything from the driver it has to be a hundred percent for it to properly act as an uh, an ib but then your driver has to have a, a qts of 0.7 just to have it optimal uh, one little note about the enclosure that I made with the holes that I showed you before. That enclosure, I tried to um, simulate the space that I have in the kick, which uh, basically goes into the rail, in the side rail. So the box itself is 4.6 liters, but I think the kick might be a tiny bit bigger. So it, it was just an experiment to see. And yeah, I'm going to try to share all of these measurements and this graph and everything. Um, if Again, if it was useful for somebody, happy days. It was very useful for me. Now I know that the, what everybody says uh, online that you have to have at least 50% of opening is true. It's proved by my scientific experiment. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, I'm going to share everything. If you have any comments, comment. If uh, it helped, again, happy days. If it didn't help, again, you know more than me. So thank you very much for everything, and I'll see you in the next one.